Good day. My name is Alex Tursky. I am the founder of the Internet Frontier project. We are developing the post-platform technology and we are going to launch it soon on several markets. And one of these markets for us are banks. That's why we prepared this presentation for the banks. And it's not the complete presentation, it's a kind of teaser because it's quite difficult to put together all ideas in one short presentation. So I'm sure that after this presentation you'll have a lot of questions. So please come to us and we'll discuss it further. So let's go. Post platforms, the new way of life for banks. Yes, it sounds quite ambitious and it is, trust me. Well, in this presentation I'll address three things. First, know your client issue. I know it's a big thing for European banks and we will really help here. Another thing will, in a way, introduce some new products which will help banks to earn more. And also we'll review some other advanced stuff. But before I present all these things to you, because it's all based on just one thing, post platforms, I have to explain what, what is post platform. And actually I'll do it now in very brief mode. A little bit more detailed presentation is in a separate video, which will be in the reference uh, to this uh, video. But here I will go very briefly. If you have more questions, watch another video or read our white paper or come to us. So I will show you only three slides. Slides about evolution of the web technology. I will show slides about Web 1, Web 2 and Web 3 technology. Web 3 is actually post platforms. Web 1 was invented by Sire Tim Berners-Lee 30 years ago. You know it very well. Web server on the left, web browser on the right. People publish their stuff uh, here on the web server and clients read any web server with any web browser. Very simple schema. It worked for 10 years till roughly 2000, 2003. But then people started to get tired of it because it's too many of them. So some aggregation needed. And this aggregation came in the form of platforms. Booking.com, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. My platform, Easy Travel, uh, I, I, also with my colleagues, we built a storytelling platform, Easy Travel. Now it's the biggest in the world. So we know how this stuff works. Platform allows to aggregate it all in very uh, convenient for readers way. And all these guys, they have just to publish not on their own web server, but on the uh, server of Facebook or LinkedIn or any other platform. It's great technology, everybody liked it, but it brought with it some kind of troubles. Uh, people have to publish it on different platforms, they cannot publish on once, and also they can be bound, like Mr. Trump was. And also for people here it's sometimes not convenient because you cannot communicate from one platform to another, you cannot send messages from here to here. Uh, well, also platforms bring a lot of other issues, you know it yourself. What we suggest? We suggest to cut it this way. So we will cut the data from platform and we'll move it back to people, back to people who publish it. So in a way it's a kind of step back to web 1, but we call it actually web 3. So now it has three layers. Web server on the left, which is actually it's not web server, it's we call it solid server. And there will be solid protocol between the servers and platforms. And we call it solid because it was named in this way by uh, the same person, sire Tim Berners-Lee, the guy who invented the web technology. Actually, after web technology, 20 years ago, he invented linked, uh, linked data uh, approach and technology. And after that, uh, out of this linked data, he derived the idea of solid, which is essentially post platforms. The funny thing is that Tim Berners-Lee invented the whole story from technological perspective, and I invented it from platform perspective, because I made platform myself and in my thinking where it all goes, I came exactly to the same solution. So we call it solid protocol and solid server. In a way, it's like web server, but more standardized. Please again see details in special video. So uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, all platforms will be able to read it from any server and there will be consequences. For example, uh, people here will be able to watch the content, any post, any, any information, uh, from these people through any platform. So you'll, it will be possible to switch from Facebook to Instagram and you'll see exactly the same posts, same photographs, same, same comments, etc. So people will be able to change these platforms easily. 
which means competition between platforms. And also platforms, it will be easy for them to enter the market. Right now, if any new platform wants to enter the market, it costs a lot of money, billion euro or whatever. Now, if a newcomer joins the club, next day, this platform will have access to all servers on the left. So it actually opens the market of platforms for newcomers. It will have huge consequences, you can imagine. So that's the idea. I would like to stress the issue of security and cryptography. Most of internet web uh, systems like you know, web, uh, email, FTP, internet itself, they were created without any security in mind. People just made great connectivity and after that they started to think about security. So first we invent TCP IP protocol and then we think about VPN, IPsec, uh, asymmetric, asymmetric cryptography, etc. So for the first time, just for change, I suggest when introducing such a great change, we will introduce cryptography and security from the very beginning. So cryptography is a very essential part of POS platforms. And of course, it will be based on asymmetric cryptography. So every participant will have private key, public key. Public key will have to be wrapped in a certificate, let's call it electronic passport. And for banks, it means a lot of new work and a whole new market of electronic passports because electronic passports require hierarchy of notaries. It's called PKI, public key infrastructure system. And I suggest the banks will play a role here. Also, what's important for banks and for any other participants that it will be all based on open standards. Actually, SOLID is already a part of W3 consortium. So Tim Berners-Lee made sure it's open standard and we fully support it. It will be absolutely open standard, so no, there will be no lock-in for clients into specific technology. It will be as open as web. Well, there are a lot of implications of post patterns. Here I will mark them very briefly. First of all, just like World Wide Web, post patterns could, could be used in any industry, in banks, in accommodation, so hotels can get rid of booking com. It will be used in e-commerce, so producers of any stuff in China or Brazil or whatever, they will not have to go to AliExpress or Amazon and agree with them. They just publish their stuff on solid server and next day trucks will come and pick up the stuff. Uh, Internet of Things, so solid servers will be in every car, in every plane, every ship, any refrigerator. So it will be kind of black box thing which collects all information how your ship or plane or car was maintained during the last 30 years, etc. It will be a great change there as well. Medical records. Right now people, uh, I don't know, your watch, it sends data to Amazon, Samsung, I don't even know. I think you'd prefer that your medical data about your pulse, blood pressure will be kept on your own solid server. It's coming. Personal stuff. Finally, people will keep most of their personal stuff on their own server, not on some different platforms. Open publishing. We started a project with uh, several European universities about open publishing. And for the first time, we are going to address this issue because after 30 years of development of internet, scientists still cannot get to articles freely. It's a really strange situation and I think post patterns will address. Not only it will be done in science, also in music, films, anything. Above different industries, post platforms will address things at much more fundamental level. First thing, electronic passport we already discussed with you. It comes with post platforms, which means that electronic voting will be able. And after the security, the complete security will be changed. People will not remember these hundreds of different logins, passwords. It will be much easier, much simpler and more advanced with real cryptography. Electronic money, we'll discuss it later. Uh, E-Karma, people will prefer to get their rating back from platforms back to the solid server because right now people get their rating on any platform, but platforms don't share this rating with people, they just keep it to themselves. And part of the protocol that rating will return, return to solid server of person. So whatever he or she does everywhere, starting from the school and the university, will be recorded on the solid server. It, it will be kind of universal rating for everything. And that will be, by the way, the basis for addressing your know your client issue. You probably already get the idea. Consumer to prosumer. It will be a big change from consumers to prosumers because people will be more 
it will be easy for people to suggest their services to, to the whole society. If I can translate something or I can repair a car, I will just say, yeah, I can repair a car, put it on my solid server and any platform will be able to sell my services. So finally, we'll bring to people real digital freedom. And I, I'm not going to discuss it. It's a very important subject, again, for discussing separate video. So we will, we will build a world without power of middlemen. Middlemen platforms will play much less role than now. Well, a lot of changes. And you may ask, why is it possible? Whether these large platforms like Facebook, etc. will agree? Probably not. But we have a lot of different organizations which will be pro it. So second trade platforms, uh, startups and their investors will like the idea that they can enter the platform market easily. Banks, mobile operators, we'll discuss it later. And some businesses which suffer from platforms like hotels, they really suffer from Booking.com. They are losing billions on this issue that Booking.com is uh, playing a very important role. Well, ERP systems will play a very important role. And also, you know, citizens, politicians, public institutions, they are very much interested in removing the monopoly of platforms. So altogether, the power of all these guys will outperform the power of big, but quite, you know, few platforms. And we are going to leverage it. Okay, it was a short introduction to post platforms. Uh, as I said, you can watch a little bit longer video separately. Now, let's come to banks. What do we promise to you? Remember, know your client, new products, etc. I will start with new products because know your client issue will be derived from your new products. So instead of losing money, you'll even earn money. Okay, what are these new products? Let's look at the typical client of the bank. He or she can earn money in three ways, roughly. I can find a job with my resume. I can earn extra money with some of my skills. I can drive taxi, cap or repair uh, computers, etc. Or I can sell stuff or I can rent out a house or, you know, anything. So these three things are nowadays are totally associated with platforms. So if a person wants to get a job to sell some extra skills or sell some stuff, he or she goes to platforms. Well, it's not easy, difficult to find them. Difficult to register, to update, to manage numerous logins, passwords, etc., etc., and difficult to delist content. Imagine you already sold your car, you still keep on keep receiving these messages. Please uh, sell your car. Well, we suggest to change it. So we will put between a person and uh, this platforms. We will put between it our solid server, which will provide to you. It will provide turnkey solution for you. Don't worry, you don't have to develop anything here. We do it ourselves. And we suggest this person, your client, puts all his or her stuff here. Resume, description of skills or stuff he or she wants to sell. Well, then it will be quite easy. Also, he will get this mobile ID key. It's mobile ID is uh, crypto engine on the SIM card or it could be crypto engine on USB fob. It will be a uh, yeah, small device with your private key which you can use for, you know, cryptographic operations. Well, you don't have to know platforms because you just publish your stuff. You don't care which platforms take it. Uh, no need to register because the bank will register you to all of these platforms. Easy to update stuff. If you update your resume or picture of your car, whatever, it will be updated on all platforms automatically. You don't even care which platforms take it. You just publish. You don't publish on specific platform. You just publish. And also there will be no Logins passwords because it will be all done with mobile ID technology, which you get from mobile operators. Because mobile operators also part of this deal, they will do exactly the same. They will also sell uh, this solid service. But mobile operators, they have this mobile ID stuff which they do want to sell. So you'll just help them. Great. Why do we think that all these platforms will join? Simple reason. You will bring to them millions of new users of your uh, clients of your bank, they will like it. It's all for free on three conditions. One, of course, they have to use solid protocol. Second one, they have to uh, implement authentication through mobile ID or any other crypto technology we will suggest them because, well, you're not going to provide your clients 50 logins and passwords for all these different platforms. Of course, it will be, uh, your client will need just one uh, authentication technology. 
and we will politely ask platforms to return the rating, because you will need it. Well, we have reasons to believe that platforms will agree, because if they don't agree, you go to their competition. Actually, we will do all these negotiations. Again, you, you don't have to worry. We develop technology. We go to these guys. We talk to them. So we will provide you turnkey solution. Well, your product, actually, it will be not one product. It will be three products. You will sell solid server, subscription. You will sell mobile ID hardware, very good. And you will sell e-passport, uh, cryptography certificate. And actually, to deliver to your client cryptography certificate, you the client has to visit the bank. So if your bank has office, it's even better because the person comes to your office, shows his pass, uh, passport, birth certificate, whatever, and then your, your people in the office will check the passport and provide the elect uh, certificate, electronic passport to the person. So in a way, you can leverage existence of your local offices in the city. Great. Well, finally, it will be kind of win-win for all. From our side, from our company, we provide technology, consulting, everything, turnkey solution. Users, they control their own content and they have no mess with platforms. They, it's easy to get rid of all stuff, easy to find a new job, uh, skills, etc. And the rating will help the person as well, because if a rating of person is collected back to on his or her solid server, it's easier to sell his or her stuff. So if I have good rating, it's easy to find the job. If I have good rating, it's easy to, 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 find, uh, to sell something because people will respect me. So for the first time, being a good person makes economical uh, benefits. Well, uh, of course, this rating will be collected on the solid server of a person, but a person will not be able to change it. Unfortunately, the person will be able to hide it or unhide it, but he or she cannot change it, of course. But again, we can, uh, this karma thing is discussed on a separate video. We don't have time now to dive into it, but it's a great thing. Banks, you provide mobile ID, e-passports, and you get new revenues. Uh, mobile ID provides better security. Probably once upon a time you decide that your uh, uh, bank machines will give money people on base of this mobile ID, you don't need bank cards, for example, and you'll enter the identity market, you'll, you'll become a notary service, you'll issue this electronic passport, it's a new business for you, and essentially you'll enter the platform market, because never ever before mobile operators or banks were allowed to the, to the platform market. You've seen all these platforms raising with their capitalization, but you could do nothing about it. You have your small margin, and that's it. Now. Together, we enter the platform market. You will like it. And finally, it's a socially responsible business because we bring a lot of great services to people so you can leverage on this social responsibility things. Platforms. They implement the solid protocol, they return rating, and they have millions of new users. Great. And it's easy for them to enter other markets because for any platform which start to play this game, it's easier to expand their service to other markets this platform couldn't enter before. Mobile ID, they will appreciate this technology. And rating, they return, return rating, but also they will be able to use this rating from the solid server and know better their customer. Well, everybody will be happy. That's what we hope. So, that's about new product. As I said, we will deliver it turnkey. Now we can discuss the know your client issue with, uh, on the basis of what we know about the product. Well, how we see no your client issue, probably we are not completely right here, I'm sorry, if so. The bank has clients and there are authorities which provide some pressure. Authorities want you, bank, to know your client. Well, you have your resources, you have transactions, you have your investigators, you probably have thousands of investigators who have to, you know, check all transactions. So for you, it's actually a big cost center. You spend money here without any obvious return. Not nice. Well, what you can do, and we know that in some countries, banks ask help from other banks. Okay, guys, let's exchange some uh, ratings and probably it will help. Well, in some countries, banks ask mobile operators, social platforms, service platforms also to provide them uh, some rating. But it doesn't go well because these guys are from different world. But actually, we suggest to go in this direction. Let's take all of them. 
let's take, you know, social platforms, people, service platforms, authorities, universities, employees, let ask all of them to participate in what we may call client rating exchange, that's what we call the karma system, and there's a solution. So all of these guys will return the rating from all platforms and all university schools to the solid server of a person, and here it comes. This rating start to build on every solid server of every person. Then you can use it. Well, so we enlarge the amount of these participants, and actually our idea is that they return this rating not to you, not to the bank, they return it to the solid server. Well, in this way, you don't need help from other banks, you don't have to spend your resources here, you can get it all from here, very easy, for free. And actually it's kind of big data or crowdsourcing approach you may call, but that's how it will work. But if it works this way, why do we need bank at all in this schema? Imagine bank disappears. Authorities, they can come here and they can check the uh, karma rating themselves. Yeah. Why, why do they need you? Because this thing is available for authorities. So theoretically, we can not only elevate this issue with know your client, theoretically we can completely remove bank from this know your client business. Possibly, but at least we can discuss it. Well, benefits for banks. You don't have cost anymore in this know your client issue because it just comes automatically. And actually you get this rating, but you do not collect any user data at all because user collects his or her data themselves. You don't participate in it. So you get the rating without actually interfering with the, with the personal stuff. That's what you need. You don't want to really mess with the personal stuff of the people. Which means also, as I said, great social impact. Because rating is controlled by users, not by you, not by any corporation, not by government like in China. People control their rating themselves. They can show it to you or they may decide not to show it to you. Okay, if somebody doesn't want to show his or her rating, you deal with this person separately. Okay, looks like solution, at least first discussion. What else do we have for you? We think we can discuss some more advanced things. For example, Okay, you got the idea. A person has solid server and platforms become a kind of post browsers, which can uh, review it. Imagine that instead of a person, a derivative, for example, a loan contract will have its own solid server. So a loan contract, which is processed for 10 years and which requires participation of insurance, brokers, banks, authorities, different partners, investors, all these guys are interested in this specific big loan contract. Well, they can use post browsers and get access to the solid server of the loan contract. So that's something to, to be discussed. Or instead of contract, it could be user banking account. It could be not in the bank, but in the user solid server. Then banks will deal with the account which is on the solid server. Something to discuss. Money transfer. At the moment, the only way to transfer money electronically, electronically people ask their banks to do the exchange. And banks do the changes in the ledger, debit credit uh, manipulations, and done, money is transferred. With solid server, this layer can come here, so people can exchange money directly. Well, if they need some kind of notary timestamp on the operation, it could be done, but both of the servers are cryptographically protected. It means that theoretically, people may just exchange electronic money without banks, well, if it's coming, it's better if you know it before your competition. Well, so in a way, we think it will be a little bit more open than just sol uh, solid technology for banks. Actually, there are all these participants, all the stakeholders, they also will have the solid service, they will participate in the whole game, so it's kind of solid informational highway where banks will deal with many other organizations on the base of the same technology. It's like web technology. Web technology could be used anywhere. So we are going to expand it. How we are going to expand? Very simple. I discussed with you how with mobile operators and banks we can deal with citizens. So we will sell to citizens solid service. We will push small platforms to join the club. Well, in different way we will deal with companies. For example, hotels. 
will introduce, uh, will ask ERP systems to play here. ERP systems will inter integrate solid server into the ERP systems. At some moment, hotels will find that, you know, in the ERP system, just 10 of them, they have solid server already implemented. So at some moment, we'll invite small platforms which want to sell hotels, say, well, on the 1st of January 2025, all hotels in the world through 10 ERP systems are available. So Booking.com will find a great surprise here. So we know how to play on the citizens market, on companies market. So small platforms will join the club. Small platforms will push big platforms, those who will not support us immediately. And if it's not enough, then big platforms will get pushed from society and politicians. Because when politicians see what we are doing together with you, they will like it and they will support us and you. Well, that's the way how we think we will expand it globally. Okay, we discussed all of these issues as I promised. And that's all for today. Okay, it was a kind of teaser. I know that you have a lot of questions and we have a lot of answers for these questions. And I didn't have time to, you know, to present it all. So please come to us later, read our white paper, watch some other movies we publish on rating, on e-money transfer, on post platforms, etc. And it's definitely something to discuss. Post platform is a great thing. As I said, it's not only my invention, it's an invention of Tim Berners-Lee and many other people. So actually it's in the air, it's coming. So let's play the game. Thank you very much and goodbye.